Damn, this guy's about that life, bro. This guy. <laughs> Got mud on it and everything, yo. He's about that life. What's up guys? It's your boy Brap Genius. We are back at it. This bike has been sitting for three months because it's winter here in New Jersey, but you know what? Woo! It's 60 degrees today, so I had to take her out of hibernation, you know? I just had to. Alright, so you guys are here because you want to know how to get your motorcycle license, alright? Now, at least here in New Jersey and the United States mostly, there are two ways you can go about this. I really recommend the second way because I think you get a much better experience out of it and you're going to learn a lot more from it. But I'm going to tell you both ways, provided I'm not stuck behind this truck the whole way because you guys don't want to see that. So. Alright, well anyway, so the first way to get your motorcycle license is you can go and take a written test at the DMV and if you pass, what they do is they give you your permit. Now here's the thing with that though, if you do get your permit and you do it that way, you have to take a road test and with the sport bike, it's really hard because when you're doing the turn, you're not allowed to put down, you do a circle in it, you have to do like a, a within a tight square, you have to go in a circle, but you can't put your foot down. If you put your foot down, you automatically fail. So the thing is, it's a lot harder to do it that way. And not only that, if you don't have any riding experience with anything else, even if you do know the rules, you don't really have any experience with riding, you know? So if if you don't have any experience riding, you don't really want to be out on the roads. You would want to do the second option, which I'm going to explain more thoroughly, which is you go and take a course and they let you ride on a bike for like 18 hours or something like that, which is what I did. And it, it definitely prepares you a lot more than just taking a permit test does so with the permit test you know you answer like I think like 50 questions or something like that they have practice ones you could take online you go when you set up uh, you could I think you could just walk in actually you just show them all your information you need your six points just like anything else and you go and take the test and if you pass you get your permit and I think that's good for six months and you can get it renewed if you want but then you have to schedule a, a license test road test for the license uh, at the DMV where they do you know the street course with like cars and stuff so it has to be one of those DMVs that's the first way so that way is all right but you got to be careful because if you're going to get a sport bike it's going to be hard to pass that test so then you'll be riding with your permit and only having a permit limits you to you can't ride at night which you're probably going to ride at night anyway you're not allowed to have any passengers which you're still probably going to have passengers anyway what you can do if you're doing the permit test if you do want to do that one take the permit and then take the road test to get your license if you fail on the sport bike you can rent a scooter or something or borrow like a supermoto from a friend or whatever something something that's easier to turn in that circle and that'll help you pass because a lot of people struggle on the sport bikes to pass the license test even though they've been riding for months and know how to ride that's the biggest thing so let me get into the other way that you can get your license which is the way that I recommend and what you do is you take an MSF course so basically it's a motorcycle class you spend like I don't know like two hours the first it's two days usually two or three days you spend like two hours inside the classroom just going over basics and stuff things you want to know they teach you a lot they give you a booklet online you can look over before you go into the class if you want to You're supposed to answer questions but like they're not going to penalize you if you don't at least not the one that I went to and then what you do after that is you go outside and they give you little 250 cruisers to practice on and 
at least the place that I went to, their rule of thumb is as long as the bike runs, you know, you don't fail. Like, like if you can, you can drop the bike, like it's fine as long as it still runs. The only way they'll fail you is if it doesn't run. The problem with this and the reason why a lot of people don't do this is it's kind of expensive. It's like $250, $300, something like that. But in my opinion, it was worth every dollar. All right, so anyway, before I went to go wash my motorcycle, I was telling you guys about how to get your license the second way. So they let you use the motorcycles, and as long as you don't crash, you know, you're good. So you they, you, they teach you so many things on it, it's crazy. And if you have ridden dirt bikes or stuff before, you know, it's probably gonna be a little boring, but you do learn a lot, so I do still recommend it. You know, I was, I was sitting there, and they knew I kinda knew what I was doing. They knew I rode dirt bikes and stuff, so the, the two uh, teachers were kind of just like, they would let me go first or last so I could wait till everyone was, you know, way ahead and then I could go quicker because they knew I knew what I was doing. And uh, just to let you guys know, I got 100 on the written and 100 on the rotting portion of the exams for that. So I have at least some somewhat of an idea of what I'm talking about, at least a little bit, right? <laughs> So yeah, so they basically, they go over all these different routines, they teach you different things, and then you're pretty much guaranteed to pass. You know, there was two girls that dropped the bike last time I was there. Oh, what's up, girls? <laughs> but um, that's awkward, now I'm gonna be at the white, they're probably gonna end up being right behind me. So you go over all the different practice routines that they let you do. And then after that, you know, the, the second day, at the end of it, you take your test. And the test is literally, they pick three of the different exercises that you used to practice on. They pick three of those. I don't know if they're always the same three. I don't know how they do that. But they pick three of them, and you go and do that. So for me, they did the circle and the square, which when you do the class, you're actually allowed Oh, I gotta go straight. Anyway, when you, you when you take the course, you're allowed to put your foot down. Basically how it works is you end up gaining a certain amount of points and you're allowed up to 21 points. So I had zero points, which means zero mistakes. I don't know how, I think like there's another one that you do which is breaking. And if you go over a certain amount of inches, every inch they add on another point or something. So as long as you're within the range, you're fine. Getting more than 21 points in that class is nearly impossible. The last one they did is uh, they really stressed this one thing called slow look press roll, at least at the course that I went to, which is you slow down. It's for, it's for going in a turn. You slow down. You look where you want to go. Whenever you're on a bike, you got to look at where you want to go, not where you are now. you got to look at where you want to go because on, on a bike, you tend to go where you're looking. So if I look right, I kind of lean off to the right even though I want to go left. Now if I look left, I start leaning left. It's just that's just how your mind works. Your mind sees something and that's where it kind of tends to lean towards as you're riding. So it's slow down, then you look where you want to go, you press on the throttle and roll. You roll on the throttle smoothly. So that's what I did. So you do the course. I know it sucks. You got to pay the $250 and whatever, but you know, I made, you know, a good amount. I was cool with everybody there, but I have, I've actually ridden with two of the people from that course because I had gotten my bike before I got the license. I had someone ride it home for me, but that's how sad I was on getting on that bike. That was my ninja. And that's what I ended up doing with that. I ended up meeting a couple people from there and I've ridden with them before, like it was cool. And I made friends from the class and that's the coolest thing about bikes that I love is, you know, you could become friends with anybody. I'm gonna post a video, I don't know if I'm gonna post a before or after, of me washing the motorcycle. And you'll see the one guy lets me use his air gun to dry off my bike because he rides. I didn't even notice it at first. I was like, wow, that was really nice. I thought, you know, he was gonna use it for his, uh, his truck or whatever he had out front. But then I looked in the garage and I saw he had a Ducati in there. I'm like, see, this gets it. This guy gets it, you know? It's just a, like bike 
make life your family and that's what I love about this it's just it makes me happy so but that's how that's how you get your license you could do it either the first way if you're really broke I totally understand you do what you got to do I just think you're gonna learn a lot more out of going to the class than you would just taking a test online because then that way at least they don't let you go on the road or anything you practice in a parking lot like a really big parking lot but then you have experience so when you go out onto the road because you're most likely going to want to start out by practicing in a parking lot when you get your bike anyway but if you don't live literally next to a parking lot you're going to have to ride on the street to get to a parking lot so at least that way it gives you a little bit of an idea of what you're doing and you can hopefully get to the parking lot safely and then practice braking and everything that you need to know and just get an idea before you really get out and start tearing up the streets so that's gonna do it for this one guys do me a favor hit that like button all it does for me is it helps get this video out to more people so that they can learn how to get their motorcycle license too and if you like more if you want to see more videos like this hit that subscribe button I got more dirt bike videos coming out for those of you that are here for the dirt bike I just need to do a couple things on that bike to get it running to where it needs to be but uh yeah so more videos to come guys as always thanks for watching have a great day peace